Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ISAT 2020 Inaugural Conference Awards Ceremony in Closing. We want to thank each and every one of you one last time for joining us for our very first virtual conference. From our engagement activities yesterday to our informative sessions today, it has been a wonderful speaking with all of you and hearing all the positive feedback you have for, you have for us here at ISAT. We want to remind everyone that you can still participate in our ISAT 2020 VC photo contest by heading to our Instagram using the, using the Instagram handle of ISET.org. That's I-A-C-E-T-O-R-G. All rules and examples are located on the page. Submission deadline is by tomorrow, Friday the 25th at 12 p.m. Now I'd like to turn your attention to our ISET board chair, Andrew Kauser. Good afternoon. I'm Andrew Kauser, Chair of the ISF Board of Directors. Thank you all for attending the first ISF 2020 Annual Virtual Conference. This is the first time that we have engaged our stakeholders in what we hope to be a continuum of learning opportunities, exchange of knowledge, and overall engagement with you. It certainly has been a great event, and we hope that you have provided, we have provided you with an increased knowledge about ISF and that you have some takeaways to use in your daily operations as continuing education and training professionals. At this time, we will begin the awards program by hearing from our platinum sponsors. Site Safety, LLC. Hi, everyone. My name is Maria Diaz, and I'm the Director of Training for Site Safety, LLC. And I'm so excited to tell you all about Science Safety. We're a national safety consulting, training, and management organization with a full approach to safety. Science Safety was established in 1999 and led by our president, Peter Amato. Peter is a former New York City Department of Building Assistant Commissioner, NYU Adjunct Professor, former president of the ASSB, and has over 30 years of experience in the construction industry. We are experts in high-rise construction, major construction projects such as hotels, resorts, airports, commercial complexes, stadiums, and much more. We work on thousands of new buildings, demolition, exterior facade projects, and our current employment count is 165 and still growing, with offices in California, Florida, New York, and projects across the nation. This is what makes us the leaders. We have a general industry department that helps with life safety inspections, professional representation, risk management inspection, and expert witness. We offer numerous plans and programs that are unique to your project. We have the most elite trained department in the industry. Our programs are for those who are serious about safety. To us, safety is universal. We offer training in different languages such as Spanish, Chinese, Polish, Hindi, Russian, and additional languages are from request. Just like everyone, COVID-19 has hit us in ways we couldn't even imagine, and we were always there for our clients and employees. We were the first one to offer numerous remote learning courses. We continue to help our clients during the pandemic by offering training, rare programs, and safety monitoring and health screening. We're excited to share the many projects we've been on, such as the Ram Stadium in LA, the World Trade Center in New York City, the Hard Rock Hotel in Miami, and so much more. Our portfolio shows unique projects we worked on in our launch. And as always, we are excited and proud to sponsor the Yuri ISAT conference. Thank you. Thank you. And Thought Industries. This year, we received an unprecedented number of nominations to be reviewed by the awards committee. Many thanks to the committee chair, Carol Martsoff, and committee members, Bradley Davis, David Ehrlich, Amy Himes, Cynthia Nunez, Aofa Stalliard, Lori Shelters, and Sally Morgan. These volunteer leaders rose to the challenge of evaluating stellar performers in the continuing education and training industry. Thank you to all who submitted. The first award is for the Exemplar Training Organization Award. 
This award honors an accredited provider who produces exemplary results-oriented programs or projects that demonstrate cost-effective, significant, and relevant impact on the population served. This year, the Exemplar Training Award goes to the Accreditation Council of Medical Affairs. My name is Dr. Amanda DeMarzo. I am the Associate Director of Patient Access with the Accreditation Council for Medical Affairs. On behalf of everyone at the ICMA, we are deeply honored and humbled to be named as the Exemplar Training Organization for 2020. I'm thrilled to accept this award. I want to thank ISET and all of our clients and partners for helping us always strive to be the best, most effective organization we can be. We look forward to demonstrating the principles and spirit of the Exemplar Award this year. ISAT standards of organizational and process excellence form the building blocks for everything that we do at the ACMA. We strive every day to translate those standards into a set of valuable and powerful benchmarks for companies across the healthcare system. We all know that healthcare is incredibly complex, but for us, it really boils down to creating better health outcomes for patients. Ensuring access to right medications for each individual based on the right science while supporting the innovation that will deliver even better therapeutics tomorrow. At the ACMA, we work with life science professionals who deliver critical information to healthcare providers. When we help them increase their effectiveness, they provide better communication and better insights to improve patient outcomes. Meeting those standards means ensuring that every individual, team, and company we work with demonstrates critical skills before credentialing them through our certification programs. Certification in medical affairs requires a deep knowledge of how to effectively and ethically communicate with healthcare providers as well as your team. Certification in prior authorization requires mastery of navigating the managed care system to ensure patients have access to their treatments. Beyond individual certification, we incorporate ISAT standards into our software services by ensuring that every process is focused on quality, dependability, and user engagement. These requirements are critical because we know we are a lifetime partner with our clients. They'll use the skills and tools we certify every day that in turn impacts the quality of healthcare every day. And they will come back to us for recertification and new services based on the same principles. We take that responsibility very seriously and ISAT standards guide us in making the potential benefits of certification a reality. If we are to fulfill our roles as servant leaders in the building of a better healthcare system, it will require exactly the structures, processes, and commitment to quality that ISAT embodies. Thank you for the opportunity to represent ISAT this year. The second award is the Innovation of the Year Award, Learner Engagement. Learning engagement refers to the degree of attention, curiosity, interest, optimism, and passion that students show when they are learning or being taught, which extends to the level of motivation that they have to learn and progress in their training. The Innovation of the Year Award is given to an ISF accredited provider who is the best of the best in learning engagement and in classroom learning environments. This year's Innovation of the Year Award Learner Engagement goes to Andromeda Academy of Construction Trades, LLC. Hello, my fellow ISET friends. My name is Jake Toth, and I am the director of the Andromeda Academy of Construction Trades in New York City. It is an honor to accept the ISAT Innovation of the Year Award for learning engagement on behalf of the Andromeda Academy. I would like to thank the ISAT 2020 Awards Committee for this award and our staff and faculty for whom I have the deepest respect. I would also like to thank John Calafaris, founder of the Academy, without whom this accomplishment would not have been possible. Congratulations to all of our fellow nominees and award winners. It is an honor to be in such esteemed company and to join the group of notable past recipients of this prestigious award, particularly during this 50th anniversary of the CEU. 
Since the Andromeda Academy's inception in 2016, we drew from ISS ethos of improving the quality of continuing education and training worldwide, and we cannot overstate our gratitude to ISAT for being our guiding light in the pursuit of academic excellence. We would like to share with you, our ISAT family, the five ingredients of our success leading to this award. Clearly defining goals, transparent communication, encouraging creative thinking, instilling a sense of ownership, and eliminative ineffective action. Our learning by doing approach, rotation of activities and roles, coaching and feedback, and a blended learning environment keep participants engaged in a positive atmosphere. Students take control of their environment, pushing themselves and one another to pick up skills, improve safety into the process, develop camaraderie, and build confidence, resulting in better retention and high levels of repeat enrollment. Apart from this honor, there is no better benchmark by which we measure our success than from student testimonials. Here are some of my favorites. Our instructor is the best. Thank you. Finally, a class where I got to try my hands on the latest equipment of the trade. I learned more in a few days than I did 10 plus years on the job. This is what's important to us. Thanks again to the ISAT 2020 Awards Committee for this honor. Our doors are open and we invite all of our ISAT members to visit Andromeda Academy of Construction Trades. Please be safe and we hope to see everyone in person and celebrate at the next ISAT conference. The third award is for the Innovation of the Year Award, Technology Integration. Today, technology is a game changer in the way we design, develop, implement, and evaluate education and training. In just the past few years, there's been an explosion of off-the-shelf and customizable educational technology solutions that have kept even the most diligent chief learning officer awake at night, trying to determine which solutions will provide the most cost-effective value to achieve his or her key objectives. The Innovation of the Year Award strives to capture the best of the best in technology integration and innovation. This year, the award goes to ISS accredited provider, NextWave Safety Solutions, Inc. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Brian Turo, the Director of Academy Operations at NextWave Safety Solutions, and I'm incredibly honored to receive this 2020 ISET Award for Technology Integration on behalf of Next Wave Safety. I'd like to begin by thanking ISET, the awards committee, my leadership, my colleagues, our intrepid instructors, and even those trainees for their willingness to jump into the virtual world with us. For those of you who don't know us, we're a New York City-based provider of occupational safety training. We've been creating virtual reality training experiences to integrate with our safety courses that help to enhance student engagement, improve content retention, and teach the next generation of workers to perform risky or even dangerous tasks in a safe and repeatable way. And so, it is with great pride that we receive this ISET Technology Integration Award. Please enjoy a short highlight reel of some of our VR content as used in our safety training classrooms. Thank you.
final award that we will present is the Distinguished Service Award. This award recognizes an individual's exceptional service and major leadership at ISF. This year, we're recognizing Jim Barnes for his outstanding service to ISF. Jim has been a member of the board of directors for five years and has served as a treasurer for the last two years and has just been reelected to serve another term. He's also served on various task forces and committees. Jim volunteered to serve ISET as an interim CEO from June 2019, January 2020. For his dedication and service to ISET, with gratitude, we present this award to Jim. Jim is also here today to say a few words. Well, let me start by saying thank you to all involved and recognize me with the ISET Distinguished Service Award. When Andrew called to tell me the news, I was really caught off guard. Uh, I can tell you I'm both surprised and humbled by this honor. I was first elected to the ISF board in 2015 based on my role at OSHA where I directed the accreditation efforts for the OSHA Training Institute. I was immediately impressed with the breadth of experience and knowledge that the various board, council, and commission members brought to the organization. And I quickly realized that in addition to making a contribution to the organization, I was going to be able to learn a great deal from my new colleagues, and that has clearly proven to be the case. 2015 also began a transition for ISET toward a self-managed organization and a period of significant growth and change. When I later became treasurer and began to be involved in the executive committee, I had the opportunity to work directly in determining and even driving some of these changes. As ISET grew and made the final shift toward a self-sustaining business model, the commitment to the mission and serving our stakeholders has always been the guiding principle. During the second half of 2019, I served as interim CEO and I got the opportunity to see firsthand the level of commitment and the quality of the work demonstrated by ISS staff. Truly really impressive. I was grateful for the cooperation and patience afforded me by the volunteers and the council and commissions. We worked through some complex issues during that time. And in January of this year, I participated in a strategic planning meeting. I can tell you the tone of the meeting was incredibly positive. The executive committee members really understood the role that the organization plays in the global continuing education landscape. The group also had the vision to see how ISET can continue to expand its relevance and viability worldwide. So I'm very proud of the strategic plan that was produced and the alignment of the organization toward these goals for the next two years. I was recently elected to serve another term as treasurer, so I look forward to being a part of the organization as it continues to further its mission to improve the quality of continuing education worldwide through accreditation. This award is really the cumulative result of the work of all the talented people with whom I've collaborated over the years. So I'd like to say thank you to all those people. I don't have the time to mention everyone by name, but I'd like to say a special thank you to Andrew, Cassandra, Chris, Leah, Sumi, Randy, Amy, Marina, Peter, Clyde, and Anne-Marie, who first encouraged me to apply to be on the board. As volunteers, we're not really in this for extrinsic rewards. It's about making a contribution and making a difference. The fact that my colleagues have chosen to recognize me with this prestigious award tells me that I have indeed made a contribution and made a difference. It truly is an honor and a privilege to be a member of the ISF Board of Directors and be recognized with this award. I'll treasure it always. Thank you. I'd like to recognize the outgoing directors who have served ISF with their time, attention, and talent. Maria Martin from Chevron and Dr. William Wall. I'd also like to welcome our newly elected and re-elected directors. Maria Diaz, elected. Leah Johnson, re-elected, and Dara Lim, elected. Both Maria and Daryl have served ISET in various capacities as committee members, council, and or commission. Leah has served the board for three years and has been re-elected for a second term. Leah has served on various committees and as a member of the executive committee. Welcome to you all, and we look forward to working I would also like to thank these outgoing commissioners, 
who have served ISS as part of the application review team. Valerie Bland, Tara Orlowski, Jennifer Salita, Lori Schneider, Keith Usery, Lawana Wooten, and Daryl Lynn. Thank you all for your incredible service to ISS. At this time, we would like to recognize newly appointed council members and commissioners. The ISF Council on Standards Development is responsible for the development, maintenance, and dissemination of evidence-based standards that promote and enhance quality continuing education and training. The commission is a dedicated group of continuing education and training professionals who determine an applicant's compliance with the standard and whether to bestow subsequent accreditation. Before we close, I'd like to take a moment to thank the nominations and elections committee, along with the chair, Paula Hurwitz. Their time and dedication to this process is critical and invaluable to ISS. Each year, this committee reviews credentials and recommends a slate of directors to be elected by the membership and the board of directors. In addition, they review credentials and recommend a list of council members and commissioners to be accepted by the board of directors as well. As we close, I'd like to thank everyone for attending ISF's 2020 virtual conference. We hope that you have had some great takeaways as a result of engaging with staff, other APs, and stakeholders. We look forward to continued engagement over the next year and beyond as we launch the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Continuing Education Year. Thank you. You on? Mm -hmm. I may have to go stop sharing. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thanks for attending. We really appreciate it. And we will look forward to seeing you all next year.